This video is about when wealth grows exponentially. What is wealth? Wealth is not money. Money is what allows us to buy wealth. Wealth is things, goods, and services that make us feel rich. So for example, transistors. Transistors help us do computations. They are what forms our computer chips. Now, back in the 70s, there was very few transistors per chip. But more, this guy at Intel said, look, the number of transistors per chip is doubling every two years, every 24 months. And amazingly, very few people would have believed this back in the 70s. But this, this trend continued for, until now, 45 years. So when you graph the number of transistors per chip on a log scale, you get this almost straight line. And actually, a lot of technologies grow on exponential curves, so they have straight lines. Um, you know, everything from, from bandwidth to DNA sequencing, pixels, random access memory, uh, communication, fiber optic throughput doubles an amazing every nine months. So now let's bring this back to money. If we look at the logarithmic chart of Bitcoin, you also see this almost straight line. Of course, it's not going to be exactly straight because the price of Bitcoin is susceptible to human greed and fear. Um, so there's little bubbles and, and, and bursts. But on a trend, it's, it's clearly on an exponential trend. Now, what, just for fun, let's do some math. Well, I'll do some math. You just watch. Let's find out what the doubling time of Bitcoin is. So the price when it started trading was five cents. Today it's 375. So at the time interval of, of 53 months approximately. The formula for doubling is P2 equals P1 times two to the power of total time divided by doubling time. So now we gotta do some, some rearrangement. Solve for T, divide both sides by P1, take the log, rearrange it. You get this, plug in the numbers, you get doubling time for the price of Bitcoin is 4.1 months. That's incredibly fast. Now you might ask yourself, how is this sustainable? I mean, transistors on a chip, sure, that's a function of science, but how is an exponentially growing value in money sustainable? Well, I'll give you three reasons. One, we're gonna see a huge transfer of wealth from dollars, euro, and yen to Bitcoin as more and more people learn about Bitcoin and, and what makes it an objectively better money than, than commonly used money. Two, when they see that the, uh, the stock markets and the real estate markets are going to drop sharply because as I explain in, in the essay linked to below, these are both markets that are hugely supported by by the weak commonly used currency that we we have now and then three we're headed for a future in which robots are going to make more and more stuff and deliver more and more goods and these robots are, are going to need to get paid and we're going to pay them in bitcoin so that's a little bit sci-fi but but uh you know th there's a link to to the, an explanation in the bottom as well if you want more about that so now that we know this doubling time, what does this mean for, for somebody who has one Bitcoin today? If you have one Bitcoin today, how much do you think that's going to be worth in, say, five years? Well, we have the formula, so let's just plug it in. P in five years equals 375 times 2 to the power of 15. That's how many times four months goes into five years. What does that equal? Boom. 12.3 million.